Good afternoon, everybody. Hello. Here we are back at Grand Central Market here in Los Angeles, yeah. one of the biggest food halls. Yes, yes, we were here like around six weeks ago. Yes. And now we're back. We're going to do part two of our local LA Eats again next year. The All Star Game is going to be here and Super Bowl is going to be here. That's and right. this is very close to both stadiums. You can come check it out yourself. It is in downtown LA. And we're gonna highlight different spots. Today. Yeah, there was so much food the first time we yeah. came here. There's no impossible to highlight everything they have. Right. So get ready for part two. Yes, I brought my Hydro go. Flask bag and my my little uh, Ziplocs. And Christopher's here, but he's only here for eating today. That's right. And he's our cameraman. He's our cameraman. Our first stop is Horse Thief Barbecue. Mm -hmm. Now this is the first time I'm trying this place. Have you tried Horse I've been Thief? I've a long time ago. Long yeah. time ago, okay, well here we go. We got the two meat plate. We asked for the fatty brisket and the pork ribs. Mm -hmm. And the sides, they have baked beans and mac and cheese. Yep, it comes with pickles and onions. Mm -hmm. And you have, and it's bread upon request. So you can ask for your white bread upon request and you get your barbecue sauces. Only one type of barbecue sauces. But they also have other sauces there, like the smoked Tabasco, regular Tabasco, and all of those other condiments. That's if you want them. Yeah. So that bad. Two meat plate. Looks like a good deal, baby. Let's try it out. Yeah. I'm going to go try the ribs first. Just by picking it up, I can see that it's very moist. You can just see the moistness coming out of those ribs right here. That's good. I'll try it without the barbecue sauce first. It looks like they have some kind of dry rub on it. Good stuff. <laughs> oh, maybe because I'm hungry? Maybe not, but these are excellent ribs. Yeah. That dry rub is uh, is really on point. Wow. You can see the smoke ring on this side, baby. Yeah. I got yeah. smoke ring see the right smoke there. Ring right here? That's yeah, the these yumminess. Are, I don't think I even need the barbecue sauce. Wow, is that good? That good. And let me try these. Uh, Baked beans real yeah, quick. Finger looking good. They look really good too. Good. Um, they're not on the sweet side. A little bit on the vinegar side maybe. But they're very good. Very good baked beans also. Wow. I like it. Yeah. Dig on into this brisket. You can see good amount of fat. I asked for the fatty portion of it and they did have some. Look at that marbling inside that brisket. You can see the meat and the fat just marbled in there together. That looks just delicious. And so I'm gonna, oh, the knife. Barely, barely touching the knife to this meat. It's just falling apart. Look at that skin right there. That's just beautifulness right there. Yeah, good bark. Good bark. Mm -hmm. Let's try this out without the sauce. very tasty it's very very tender which is really good it tastes good without the sauce but I'm gonna try some with the sauce see how this barbecue sauce is it's a really good barbecue sauce it has that really good spice in it it's not sweet at all it has a little back kick to that this is delicious the warmness of this brisket with the coldness of this barbecue sauce. This is excellent. And then of course the mac and cheese. Look at that. Nice look baked. Mm. Nice and creamy. You can tell it's a cheese blend, not just one type of cheese in this mac and cheese. This is an excellent meal. And as you can see, the two meat plate is definitely shareable. This is how you do it. The bread is upon request. They give you pickles and onions on the side. I got my piece of brisket and I put some sauce on it and I'm just gonna go ahead and make my little sammy. Half a sammy. See, it's not gonna bend very well. Ah, uh, close enough. Okay, here we go. Onions, pickles, and brisket.
just got our pizza from Oleo Wood Fired Pizza. Check it out. La, look at that. This is a great looking pizza. We just got the original pepperoni and it just looks delicious. Great pools of pepperoni oil on here. The crust, look at that. You could definitely tell it's wood fired. It's got that nice little burnt edges on some of the parts. You could just tell it's just nice and crispy. Wow, can't wait to try this one out. What's cool is you ask for a paper plate for the pizza and this is what they give you, a little cardboard plate. So we're gonna try this out. Oh yeah, look at that. We got a knife because it's yep. kind of hard to separate the slices. But here we go. Oh, you can just tell that it's very thin crust. How's that undercarriage look? Pretty good? Oh, it's okay. Yeah? It's kind of reminiscent of a, uh, it's a wood fire. Yeah. So here we go. How is it? I like it. Ah. That cheese has a great flavor to it. Let me try this one. Yeah. So it got really busy and really loud in here, so we had the mic up. Mmm, it's really good. Pepperoni, good pepperoni. The, the sauce, the marinara tomato sauce is very light, very good cook on this crust. And even though it's soft, it's very easy to eat. Yeah, I'm surprised. This is mm -hmm. a, a great pizza. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. even the crust is nice and airy. Great flavor to mm -hmm. it. It is. No complaints at all on this no. pizza. I bet I, I come here and get it again. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Pupusaria. We got two pupusas. We got revolta, which is pork, bean, and, and cheese. And the other one, we got chicharron, which is just pork. So I'm not sure which one this one is. These are super hot. Let's open this up. Oh, this is just the pork. You can see it's steaming. And they give you a little bit of salad with that. So we're going to put a little bit up here. And they also gave you salsa as well, but we're gonna do a little bit of the salad. Whoop, with the juice right here. Oh, it's leaky. Alrighty. And we're gonna go ahead and eat it just like that, right there. Mmm. The salad or the cortido is spicy. So, just a heads up, this right here, the tortilla portion is extremely crunchy. Pork is a very good flavor. I'm gonna taste the spices of that pork. It's really good. It's a mashed up pork, but it has a little bit of peppers and onions. It's a really good pupusas, and the lady is making them here, and so everything is fresh. They are made to order. This one took about 20 minutes, just so you know, and they're getting busy. But they're all made fresh to order. This, this is Huevuelta. Yeah, the pork, bean, and cheese, yeah. right? So let's just tear it. Up. Oh, wow. Yeah, you're right. This is like super hot. Yeah, you can see everything in there. See the steam, just steam is coming out of and it. And this is their most popular one. This one right here? Yeah. Wow. Careful, baby. Yeah, you know what? Let me give it a few seconds to cool down. I can barely pick it up. All right, cool down a little bit, so let's give it a try. Just a little bit cooled down. It looks like it's still hot now. It's still hot, but it has good refried bean. And which one is this? This is the pork, bean, and cheese. Yeah, pork, bean, and cheese. So I got, I'm getting a good flavor from the bean mostly and the cheese. And a little bit of pork, I think, but overall, 
it's not spicy when you don't put that cabbage on it. Try it out. Mm. It's really good. Mm -hmm. I like how they do it on the flat top. It's crunchy on the outside. Yes. Mm. Yeah, these are great. I mean, um, yeah. in the past I had pupusas, but they're half the size, right? Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, these are these are really big. Two of them is a whole meal for yeah. sure. Yeah. They even have a lot of sides here. They even had fly, fried plantains, fried yuca, all the stuff we like. But I had to show some restraints. I only got the pupusas. Yeah, definitely has that homemade flavor to it. I like these. Yeah, good choice. Good. Thank you, babe. Hot tip, got my bag. Just stuck the pizza in there. Now I'm going to stick the chicharron. And our Tupperware, right? And our right? Tupperware. You got to bring the Tupperware. This is our barbecue because we have like two more yeah. places to try. Yeah. So this is for later. This is for our dinner. There he is, cameraman. <laughs> Where did you want to eat? Yeah, that was what I was talking about. There's a pup. So Potato salad, please. This is the MacArthur Park from Wexler's Deli. This is built just like the Langer's Number 19. That's our absolute favorite pastrami sandwich here in Los Angeles. You can see the layer of pastrami, the Swiss cheese, the coleslaw on a nice rye bread. This is perfect. Perfect. Yeah. And it comes with a side of potato salad or coleslaw. But since we have coleslaw in the sandwich, we decided to go with potato salad and pickles. This is how it comes to go. Yeah. So you can that. tell that this pastrami is, is definitely hand cut. Yes. They're all hand cut pastrami right here. So we're just going to go in for a bite and just see how it is. Right, ready? babe. Let's do it. Same time, babe. Cheers, babe. Cheers. Cheers. Good flavor of that pastrami. Bread is good. The crunch of the crust of the bread and the coleslaw is excellent. Langer's is still better, but it's a good sandwich. But with other so many other choices here, I'm glad I tried it, but I don't know if I would get it again. Yeah. This pastrami is is on the peppery side. Uh, we like black pepper, mm -hmm. but definitely know that it is on the hot peppery side. It's very good. Uh, no, no complaints about it. Uh, this isn't a showdown between you know here and Langer's, but you know Langer's better. Yeah, <laughs> it is, baby. But this is still a great sandwich, especially if you're in the mood for a good pastrami here. at uh, yeah. Grand Central Market? Yep. Yeah, hit up Wexler. Yeah, it's good with strawberry sandwich. Mm -hmm. With the pickle. McConnell's ice cream, 100% made from scratch. Let's go see what kind of flavors we're going to get. Yeah, this is the way we're going to end our uh, foodie yes. adventure here with some yep. good ice cream dessert. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh wow, they have, uh, they got Turkish coffee. I think I'll try that one, babe. Yeah. McConnell's ice cream. This is the real deal. That's what it yeah. says. Homemade ice cream. Yep, it is. What flavors? We got the pumpkin caramel with pecans on top and they have a Turkish coffee on the bottom. 
Yeah, I'm so, excited about the Turkish coffee. I'm going to try the pumpkin one. Yeah, okay, yeah. I think the Turkish coffee is going to be nice and strong. Look okay, at That's the pumpkin. It's nice and gooey. Mm. You can taste that pumpkin. You can taste the caramel. And the little bits in it is the pecan. Just like right there. I'll try some of that. Mm. Tastes like a pumpkin pie. It's yummy. Oh yeah, it is good. That's what I noticed. It's uh, very creamy. It is very creamy. Yeah. Now this bottom portion, oh, yeah. which I'm gonna now take check the that pumpkin out. away. It's gonna be a little bit darker. Right there is the Turkish coffee. Yeah. You try that out first, babe. Okay. I gotta, I gotta go deep on it. Oh, look at that. You see the little grains of coffee in there. Try this out. How's that? Is this like a regular coffee or is it stronger? This is the strongest coffee ice cream I've had. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's very strong. Um, it does have that sweetness from the ice cream, but this will oh. replace your, your morning cup of joe by having a scoop of ice cream. That tastes really good. It tastes like, almost like um, the an espresso. What is that one called? You want to put espresso with vanilla ice cream? but yeah. stronger. Right. It's right. really good. It is like an espresso ice cream. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very, very strong. It's really good. Oh yeah, very good, very yeah. tasty. This is a great way to cap it off, huh babe? It is. Huh? We're gonna finish off this ice cream and let's see what else we're gonna do. If we're gonna eat any more or not. Yeah, I don't know. This This may be it, huh babe? This might be the capper right yeah. here. That is a wrap from Grand Central Market. We have our to-go again already. Yeah. yeah, that was a lot of food today. It was a lot of food. Yeah. We still haven't covered everything. We no. think we need one more video and then that will be almost everything. Yes. There's so many taco places we haven't covered. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of, there's a Korean place here. There's Chinese, a Chinese, there's yeah. a Filipino place here right. that we still haven't tackled yet. So uh, one more pick, one that, more top. That's what part three is for. Yeah, right? part three. Now, in a few weeks, about, no, about a month, maybe. Yeah, yeah, we'll about see. a month. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you have any shout outs? I do. Uh, Brianna Gonzalez, happy birthday. And we just met Ernie. So thank yes. you for saying hi. Yeah, we took a picture with Ernie right now. Yeah, just right yeah. now. Yeah, so well, thanks everybody for watching our second adventure here at LA's one of the biggest food halls in Grand Central Market. Uh -huh. Thank you, Christopher, for filming everything. Yes, thanks, son. And until then, we'll catch you guys in the next one.